So we received these rabbits back in June when they were about eight weeks old. And now it's gonna be our first time breeding our rabbits. Now we were looking for the Tamuk rabbits, which is about seven different breeds geared to be bred in the Texas climate. Uh, so we was able to do a bartering where we helped Michael and Brittany of the Branch Ranch, where we helped them butcher some chickens. In return, they gave us these rabbits, these Tamuk composite rabbits. And we've been loving them ever since then. We had them in the Ivy tube and before we were gonna build this, however, there was an attack. We had some wild dogs attack our little Ivy tube in uh, hutch. And so we had to hurry up and build this one. Now rabbits have always been one of the first animals that I wanted on this homestead. But Mrs. Naked Gardener was not having it because she didn't feel that we could be eating such a cute and cuddly animal. However, I went to different grocery stores, especially like Central Market, where I was able to find a rabbit and I was able to cook it a nice meal for her. And right there just opened up her eyes. It was like, gave me that thumbs up for allowing us to get some rabbits. Now, like I said, these are a little bit over seven months old to breed. And we were told that since the does, which are the female rabbits, are territorial, that you want to put your females in with your bucks because you put your bucks with the uh, females that the females could possibly castrate the males and we don't want that. So we cleared out the, the males uh, hutch area, got all the water bowls out. So it's just going to be them and the does. Uh, we're going to start off with having uh, John, uh, Jane Doe breed with John Coffey. John Coffey has uh, somewhat experience with breeding and he's much older than the rest of these so we'll see how that goes. The rest of these have never been bred or even did any breeding before so ready? Open up that cage. All right, let's see how this bad boy goes. There we go. That's one fall off. Yeah. So you want at least one fall off. However, they said the more fall offs that you have for a buck with a female, the better increases its chances with get, getting some litters. So we're doing Peter Rabbit with Chewy. Chewy. Yeah. This one might be a little bit better. Well, John knows what he was doing. Yeah. Wrong way, boy. <laughs> I'm seeing her face right here. <laughs> Going the wrong way. Wrong in, fool. Hey, he's got to figure it out. Did he fall over? Okay, that was the second time. Oh, he got her. Oh, oh there goes oh, one. One over here. And I, ju I heard John fall over over there. Sorry, man. You to totally just cock blocked him. What the? <laughs> Does she know she's a girl? And she is like biting his side. Oh my gosh. You little freak.
mitten for you, boy. I know. She's like, this is how you do it. Oh, this is going to be the second one. Oh. This is the second one. Like, it's my turn. was watching on a uh, rabbit rabbitry center he did some trick that kind of forced the uh, the dough into mating he did a rubber band trick we'll put it on the hind legs and pin the tail up oh and you just put the tail end of the uh, rabbit the dough in and the male just jump right on but uh, I don't know how I feel about that yeah. <laughs> I, I don't feel comfortable about that John's like, he's just going to wait for her to lift. Yeah. He's like literally staying in this position. <laughs> he's like, I'm just going to wait. Is that a potential issue? If yeah. we have a female that's not lifting? I mean, because he, I mean, he's trying. She's just not lifting. Is that just because she's... For, probably because it's the first time. If someone knows, comment down below if they have experience with breeding uh, does and in bucks but if there's an issue with it not lifting yeah like what, I guess uh, she's the only one that's not doing it so hopefully after the uh, her litter if she has a litter and when it's time to breed again maybe she's more susceptible to or maybe the, she'll figure it out yeah so we'll see Peter Rabbit had two successful fall offs with Hayer and Jesus. Chewy, and John Coffey had two successful fall offs with Jane Doe. So, and Jane Doe wouldn't lift for, yeah, she wouldn't lift anymore after that second fall off for him. So, we're going to be keeping an eye on her when it's time to breed her again. They should be roughly having their kits around the first week of March if we time it right. They say anywhere from 28 to 31 days. Um, we're going to start have to now build a nesting box and about three days from when they start doing their kitten, when they're about to have their, their babies, put, put their nesting box inside of the cage with some hay. If they start making the nest uh, with that hay, then we know that the babies are coming. So if you're interested about getting some of these kits, just email us at teamholland77 at gmail.com and in the subject line just put Tamuk Rabbits if you're in the local area because we're not ready to be shipping out and stuff. How do you feel about experiencing your first breeding of rabbits? Along with us. We're first time. Mm hmm Weird. Weird. You think you'd be uh, okay eating with some baby nope. rabbits? <laughs> How you know that what you had last night wasn't rabbit? Because it was chicken. How you know? I had straight chicken. That was it. How you know? Miss Tori said it was chicken. So and you know that that was chicken we raised, right? Okay, so if you want to see when we first received these rabbits and prepared them in our nice little hutch that was gifted to us, we'll put that on the card on the screen, and then we'll also put it on the links down below. Until the next video, let's grow together.